My name is Adam Martinez. I'm a senior at the University of Minnesota. And this is my story about tortillas at the breakfast table and what it's meant to me personally as a second generation Mexican immigrant growing up closer to Lake Superior than the Rio Grande. That's my brother Nick on the left. I made breakfast for us this time, but for as long as I can remember, my mom has always made breakfast for our family on the weekend. A typical breakfast in our house might be potatoes with bell peppers and cheese, bacon or sausage, and refried beans, of course. My mom will usually make cactus and eggs for my dad. Yeah, cactus. They sell it in a jar. That's cactus. But no matter what we have for breakfast, we always have it with tortillas. Are you ready for some tortillas? You know it. <laughs> we usually warm them in the microwave, but on the rare occasion that my mom is at home to keep us from making a mess of the kitchen, we might heat them over an open flame. Either way, we always cover them with a towel to keep them warm and set them out on the table for everyone to share. We don't use them to make burritos. It's not really necessary. We just tear the tortillas and use them to grab food from our plate. It's kind of like finger food. Kind of. I remember one time, my uncle on my mom's side of the family was over for dinner, and he asked my dad about the tortillas. He said, Pablo, what's the towel for? And my dad's reaction was like, are you serious? I remember this because although I've never seen myself as an immigrant of any sort, I've always had an appreciation for the fact that not every family sets tortillas out at the table when they eat. I think for a lot of people, that's only when they go out to a Mexican restaurant or eat at our house. My dad immigrated to the United States from Mexico when he was just a kid. And although my brother and I grew up in a household where we didn't speak Spanish or have the same traditions that my dad grew up with, we love tortillas. No way. <laughs>